Uh, the secret sauce is to actually be consistent and live by what you say. In action, speak louder than words. The secret sauce of our business is um, working on people's core values and uh, you know helping them bring out the best in themselves. Listening. You have to listen. You could try with the best intentions, and if they don't work, you have to be able to take that. But I think listening is absolutely key. I think the secret sauce to company culture is creating the environment where people listen to each other, and particularly management listens to the employees. If our office had a theme song, it would definitely be Welcome to the Jungle. What makes us unique is our strong focus on process. If it isn't documented and the process isn't followed, it didn't happen. I really do believe it starts from the people and the types of people that we hire with entrepreneurial spirits, scrappy spirits, risk-taking spirits, rebel spirits. And we care probably more about our people than we do our customers because we know that by caring about our own internal team that that will ultimately lead to the customer. Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen because people think we're crazy and then look over at us and they're like, wow, you know what I mean? Like, look at these guys, what are they doing? Yeah. I think the secret sauce to building a successful company culture is to have clear leadership and therefore ultimately seize the, the mission or the vision. It's not putting it in the company handbook and putting your values there. You have to really live and breathe it all day long, every day. Our most coveted incentive at Gill Group is our shopping credits and our employee discount. So we do provide them with those incentives and they love it. It would be 99 problems, but a pitch ain't one. The number one secret to building a great company culture is doing it wrong for so long that you've made all the other mistakes uh, that you can make. And then reaching out to your peers and to other people much smarter than you and going, how do I do this? The biggest thing that makes our company's culture unique is that we are, um, again, that small organization with a big company infrastructure so we can act entrepreneurially. And, and the other thing would be the fact that we spun off of an Australian-based organization. I think it's unique because of the nature of healthcare. People that come into healthcare want to take care of people. We touch people's lives in a way that other industries can't possibly um, even conceive of. I have lots of isms, but one of my favorite is fail forward. I love people to take risks, I love them to try things, to test and try, and it doesn't, you know, not everything's a home run, but you have to try. The one word that I would use to describe Invent's culture is dauntless. Passion. Healthy. Fun. The one word I would use to describe our culture is inclusive. We basically include all the departments in many of the decisions that we make in the organization to make sure that our client gets the best product and service. The word I would use to uh, describe the company is, is really uh, enjoy. And uh, so if people aren't enjoying what they're doing, then, then we don't deliver to the best of our ability. Info People has a very open culture. When I hire employees, I make sure they're excited about our vision and they're willing to participate. If I had to take my team on an all-expense paid trip, I would bring them to uh, an island in the Dutch Caribbean called Curacao. It's just a very peaceful place. It's the opposite of New York City. I would take my company to Disney World. What's more fun than Disney World? So I just feel like that would be such a, it, it would make so much sense for us to be there. We believe that positive energy is free and it's something everybody has. And in order to improve yourself or work better with those around you, you have to draw in positive energy first. We try to give back as much as we can to our employees uh, through pay for performance type of activities that are laid out for them. Our culture is extremely collaborative. We bring together um, professionals both inside of our organization and externally, um, both physicians and other companies that we think can uh, add to the value proposition for our patients. It would have to be unique. The reason why is because we're so diverse, we're so different, and everyone in the group brings something to the table, which is very different, and it's a melting pot. I always love this, and I try to practice every day, lead by example. We believe that the secret sauce in building a good company culture is all in the management, and it's allowing people to be successful within the organization and empowering people to do their jobs. So if our office were to sing a karaoke song, I believe it would be We Are Family. Rita? AKA 99, I know you don't like that song, but it really is appropriate to our culture. We are all one and we do treat everybody as family.
The most coveted incentive, it's a strange one. It's, I think it's t-shirts. People are like, oh, hey, uh, how's it going? I'm like, oh, good. Yeah, here we have some t-shirts. For our working moms and dads, they love the flexibility that we have flex time and they can work from home. We just implemented recently, when you've been eight years, you can get a six week paid vacation. The kegerator. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. They know that they that we have their back and we'll pick up for them when they're out and that's really, it, it's the family culture that we've created there. If I had to point to one most coveted, it would be Governor's Ball. Every year it's here in New York, it's the largest music festival, it's like the Coachella of the East Coast. While we have a, tickets to events all year, for some reason, Governor's Ball seems like the one that's really the most coveted.